put together. Yeah, okay, so the first thing is that I do feel like there's a little bit of pressure on Spica inside the jungle. One of the things that can be really problematic is you just allow an Evelyn to scale up very late into the game. So anything Spica can do to delay that fact is always going to be good. But in classic Fnatic form, when they have this Evelyn, they're trying to draft a lot of strong lanes that can play around and assist the Evelyn. That's where the Lucian is going to be really, really impactful. So if they want to try and break that mid lane matchup, maybe we see some Biofrost roams towards mid lane. TSM playing through mid to shut down Nemesis, who has been a problem point for Fnatic this year, and open up the map to shut down the Evelyn first. Has absolutely been a problem point, and he's going up against TSM's strongest player, strongest member, most story player in Bjergsen. Nemesis versus Bjergsen could be one of those pivotal, pivotal matchups, but I think it is crucial to point out that when Selfmade does get a comfort pick, he does perform at a higher level. And this will be our first taste of NA versus EU in groups. So, self-made and speaker, where my eyes are going to be very, very early on. And I love that yes, Sam sir. skin riding into battle and early game shenanigans. TSM of trying to uh, get this game off with a bit of a bang. Bjergsen actually going to force Nemesis to step back. And this allows TSM to path in through the brush. Self-made will know what's going on as he does spot out Spica, but doesn't necessarily know the rest of the team is here. I think it's a safe bet for Fnatic. But I really like TSM invading the jungle from level one to try and disrupt Selfmade's level one plan. Okay, where does he respond? Right now, the rest of Fnatic grouped up in a traditional death bush, as I believe they call dibs on that very early on in League of Legends, but they will not stick around too long. A number of uh, TSM pings Ooh. inside the red buff. Now, do Fnatic consider a counter invade? Fnatic have no vision of TSM, so they might think that TSM are still up in the top side jungle. And what's going to end up happening is there is going to be a fight at level one, almost certainly. The, the big difference here is Nemesis will be grouped up with the rest of the team. But now, if Bjergsen is able to read this one out and get down into the river or into the jungle quickly, we could see an all-out brawl. Okay, multiple members, four-man stack from Fnatic. Uh, one minute 20, now they're going to make the move forward. The sweeper has popped, so they know they haven't been a vision. Oh, TSM, we're going to spot it super late, though. They don't know what's happening right, until right now. Fnatic, they backed away too early. That's a flash already from double left. Whoa! A lot of damage coming out as Biofrost gets chunked down. He's down to 200 HP, 100 HP, 50 HP. Flash forward, first blood, reckless, and Fnatic, they find it in the late invade. Fnatic group up, they go in there, and reckless gets that first blood. Major loss here for TSM. All they did was put a ward on the enemy red buff, and they didn't have any protective vision of their own. So Speaker will be able to smite away the large raft right here, but it's still a very big win for Selfmade at level one. Exceptionally well done. Kill secured there by Reckless as well. Let's look at Summoner spells, Flash and Heals, as well as Ignites used on every front except yeah. for Hillisang in that bottom lane. Nemesis is also Flashless. Yeah, this Bent his Flash as well. And Ender, as you've already pointed out, no TP allows Bjergsen some freedom in that matchup. Keep in mind, Speaker also is challenging. Selfmade as the engage comes out here from Hellasang. He's got himself some boots. Biofrost is flashless, and he may just get taken down for the Ooh. second time. Stepping into the tower, the Ignite picks it up for Hellasang and Fnatic. Yeah, Hellasang waited the last possible second to drop that one. The heal was able to keep Bio alive for a while, but that's the punishment for not having the flash available. Another hit in that bottom lane. Biofrost is really getting bullied now. Now we convert it into a side lane here, especially with Bupo playing very aggressively. Broken Blade has his jungler in the area. All right, there is a potential for Selfmade to help out, but Speaker's coming in, got that blue buff available to him. And Whippo down a little bit low. He does have Flash. Making his way towards level six, and Selfmade is still working on the crux. Oh, now, level Whippo, six! Level six! Sky Splitter is available. Stormbringer, does he bring the... Oh! Yes, he does! The Flash chop down! Flash bear slap indeed from Whippo, and Selfmade arrives just in time to dissuade a follow-up. The most unlucky timing possible, and Whippo is losing his mind. He's back at Worlds. He's filling himself after that one. That is a mental edge if I've ever seen it. Three kills to zero, a thousand gold up. Pop that ulti, but they're going to try and punish him. They absolutely will. The stun comes out as well. Hextech ultimates, and Bjergsen's now tanking the tower, and Broken Blade with Precision Protocol. They get the kill, they deny a huge wave, and that's fantastic. What was I saying, Trevor? Bjergsen level six, they're able to come up into that top lane and punish the ultless Whippo. Fnatic, Bjergsen's already backing away. Self-made's top, at, though. Look at Broken Blade, no flash available. Whippo, no ultimate available. Selfmade's making his way in. It may just be a matter of time. Good hook shot, step forward, precision protocol, Hextech ultimatum on the last QRS. Oh! Down. Broken Blade with the outplay! He doesn't care if Selfmade's the baddest. He manages to win in the 1v2. That was disgusting right there. Gets the full true damage proc, locks Selfmade in the ultimate. His ultimate isn't going to be able to escape from that one. And now TSM, what can they do on the bottom side of the map? because 
Oh, who they, okay, I don't actually think they know that Hillisang is down here inside the alcove. They don't know he's alcove gaming for the time being. For a second, it looks like they're just going to take over completely. Or do they? Or do they, Trevor? No ways, no ways, no ways. Hillisang, the vision is out. He's tagged. He's caught. He's ganked. And he is dead. Three kills secured for TSM. Broken Blade with an insane outplay. Well, and you see Bjergsen was pathing bot, now he's pathing up here. We could have a fight on our hands. Oh, self -made's looking for Speaker. Whoa! Oh, lost Caress, hates Spiker with the help of Nemesis. Speaker gets obliterated. Now there's pressure in the mid lane. So all of a sudden, TSM's potential plan of Rift Herald is thwarted. Yeah. And we may have a small sort of gentleman's agreement. Um, a minute and a half till the Mountain Drake. It's going to be a little while before Baron is really hotly contested, I feel. We may just see another setup around there. So around Vision, uh, defensive wards from TSM. Oh, Probably good pick. Up. Curtain call, one and two will tag Biofrost. The third will hit him too, and so does the fourth. That's a really sick combo, though, because of course you need Jin's, you need damage on the enemy for Jin's W to actually apply the CC. Here we got a fight. The engage, Biofrost trying to run for his life. Unbreakable Will is up, and inside the Hextech ultimatum is Hillisang, countered by his Kryptonite Camille. Now Whippo's in trouble, stunned up by Scout of the Week. The ultimate is fired. Ooh. He survives! Manages to escape with his life. The Age is doing so much work. It's a thousand goal lead to Fnatic. And they managed to survive, but at the cost of Hillisang. It is just that kill. Selfmade is looking for Spika. Oh, he can get so close to him dun, here. Dun, 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 dun. Reckless unable to connect. That's the combo I'm talking about, though. Blade, but here comes Whippo on all fours. Ultimate is now available for him. Selfmade, Reckless, actually everybody. So fully armed for the power as far as that's concerned. Tower, Dragon's already secured by Fnatic. That was easy, TSM. Haven't found an opportunity to initiate, and that is one thing to call out. While Rakan is going to be able to fairly easily get the entrance into the quickness, you're looking at flanking options or a, a conditional stun by Scatter the Weak, so not the strongest engage tools from TSM. Yeah, it's interesting, because a lot of times you would say Bjerg Blade loves to find flanks on this Camille, but he also would love to lock down Hillisang or Selfmade if they dive the back lane. Now, Fnatic have started up the Baron, and TSM are late to this play, but they're going to be able to get here in time, you think? It's down to 4,000, maybe not. Shadow's coming up. Fnatic can just finish this one up before the fighting begins. Biofrost is inside the pit, but Fnatic, they got the Dragon, they got the Baron, and now Hillisang is trying to fly away. He's easily able to Oh, not again! But he's locked inside the Hextech Ultimatum. This time, he has support and damage from the team, but the sacrificial bird to pick up the Baron, Fnatic will be happy with that. It's the old... As well as Lucian, two crucial, crucial picks for Fnatic. It's something that they've demonstrated and played in the LEC, something that we expected to be... Something just flashed up the wall! Out. That's it, he's dead. Goodbye, double lift. Fantastic from Selfmade, catching double lift out. I didn't even see it. Selfmade in the blink of an eye eliminates the TSM AD carry, but Broken Blade, <laughs> Broken Blade is on the base. He's looking for the inhibitor and is just now Whippo able to recall back into this one. Fnatic, can they trade? Can okay. they just kill him? Whippo's gonna chase for this one. He's got himself the Death Dance and the Triforce and pushing all the way forward. The ulti will not find its target. And the tactical sweep from Broken Blade plus the hookshot gets him to safety. The base is open. Fnatic do not even open the base. Poor self made level 17. He's the, he's the highest level in the game. Tied with Whippo. Just been trying to clear through these camps as quickly as possible. And how does the flank happen? It's a pincer for Hillsing on the side. That's it. The quickness into the knockup. They managed to catch up. Bjergsen self made, self made, self made. Self made looking for speak and double it. But safety in numbers, remember. He doesn't find the kill and TSM escape with their lives. Here comes Broken Blade. He's found himself healing, but he hasn't found the kill. Not going to be able to do it. And Broken Blade goes down by Reckless's hand. TSM survived the initial engage, and they don't get the kill on the And that line. should mean the Baron here for Fnatic. Four players alive, but we're 45 seconds away from a potential teleport from TSM. <gasps> it's a Fnatic death brush. Selfmade is going to try and come out here, push in the wave first, so that TSM cannot push through mid, and then they'll head back to the Baron. Very, very smart play here from Fnatic. 4,000 gold up, but I have to give credit to Speaker. He was able to hang back and help double lift out to survive. TSM went into the river here, but this Baron's going down so fast. There is the ultimate available here for Bjergsen. He needs to find a target. The Baron Speak is up. in the pit. Not going to be able to do it. Fnatic pick up the Baron. Now Whippo's under some damage. His speaker will get blown up. Flash over the wall from Selfmade. Hate Spike after Hate Spike. Hillisang pushing double lift backwards as Bjergsen will not be able to find a kill with the ultimate. Fnatic get the Baron. Get themselves a kill and get the hell out. This is everything Fnatic need to try and press forward here. Teleport comes in from behind. They still want kills. Here comes Double teleport. 
manages to jump into the air and jump Nemesis on TSM. Nemesis, with the help of Selfmade, chased TSM through the jungle. And Fnatic will chase down Broken Blade, the last standing member of TSM, inside the base. It was a hard-fought fight, but one that Fnatic earned through macro plays. Fnatic take down TSM. And self-made leading the charge as well. The amount of times he's able to get into the back line and snipe people out, combined with, as you said, yes, the intelligent play rushing down the Baron, playing for the mid lane inhibitor, while TSM were preoccupied on the Dragon. They came in with a good plan and executed on it well. Very competitive, close game. But I think you could clearly see the decision making that unlocked the advantage, the lead, and then eventually the win from Fnatic. Whippo standing tall on that matchup. Like, he he was under pressure, but he managed to gain multiple advantages against Broken Blade. And, and you called it. The Sneak Baron, the map play, it's a different look from the regional play. Yeah, and it was really hard for TSM because they, they did do pretty well in the landing phase, right? Like, the outplay from Broken Blade in top lane, Bjergsen had a big lead uh, in terms of CS over against Nemesis. But when it came down to the fights, under the threat of the level 17 Evelyn jumping into your back line, whenever Broken Blade tried to go in, there couldn't necessarily be that follow-up when they're trying to play back, when they're trying to disengage from that Evelyn. So having that pick be able to split up the fights entirely really made it hard for them in the fight.